Hey guys, it's me over here with another Xcode tutorial. This is another tab bar tutorial, and if you haven't seen my other tab bar tutorial, go check it out here. Unless you already know how to make a tab bar and you're here because of what the title said. And uh, the title is correct. In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to add views to our tab bars so they actually display something on the screen, and how to add extra tabs and how to change the icons and titles of those tabs. First off, I'm going to go into how to change the icons of the tab and then I'm going to be teaching how to add the view. So to change the icon of the tab, we obviously need a graphic. Now down here, I have a, a graphic called calculator.png or icon calculator.png. The reason I have a calculator is because I'm going to be making a calculator app and it's going to, you know, do have different tabs for different calculations. Now I got this, this, uh, oops, I got this ca uh, icon from glyphish.com and they make loads of great little icons for your apps free and paid for non-retina and retina screens so I recommend you go check them out to get some nice icons for your app however if you want to make your own icons you have to make sure they are at least 30 by 30 pixels this is only icons for the tab bar if you, or, or any navigation bars or anything otherwise the icons can be however big you want because they're going to be your own personal icons but icons for tab bars or navigation bars have to be at least well for at minimum 30 by 30 pixels. You can go below 30 pixels and have 12 by 10, but you can't go over 30 pixels, otherwise it won't work. So make sure it's 30 by 30 at least. So I'm just going to keep that there for now, and I'm going to open up our project. So this is our project from last time. Uh, as you can see, just completely blank views. And first off, like I said, I'm going to be teaching how to add a tab. Now, it can be easier to add a tab to your tab bar, you, all you need to do is go down here to Interface Builder, select this icon here with a star called a UI tab bar item, drag and drop it on, there you go, another item. Simple as that, just to add an item. Next, I'm going to be teaching you how to change the title. Again, really easy, just click, click again, then double click on the label here, and I'm going to call this one Calculator. There you go, Calculator. That's it done. Now I need to actually add the icon to my app so I can have the calculator have a nice icon to it. So I'm going to scroll out here, grab my icon, drag and drop it into the project like so. I'm going to copy the items just in case I delete this one here as a spare or something. Copying items is always good. Finish. Now my icon calculator is added but I haven't got it as an icon here. Again, simple. Click on your thing again. Make sure you're double clicked onto it so you have selected this. I don't want you selecting the big tab here. That's the actual view. I want you selecting the actual little attributes here. Then we go over here to where it says image. Click the drop down and select your image or you can type it in. I'm just going to select my image. And there you go. As you can see, I have a nice calculator. So I'm going to save, build and run. And as you can see, here's our calculator. And we have the other views still. I'm not going to bother with these other views because I'm not going to be using them in this tutorial. However, in later ones I will be, so I'll be teaching you how to change them. And there you go. We've got a calculator with an icon. Now we need the view, the calculator view. So to do that, all we need to do is either drag a view out onto the screen here. We can either do that or we can load a view remotely from it. I'm going to choose the load view remotely option because I, I personally think it's better. And what I mean by that is basically we're going to create a file, new file, and we're going to create a new view, UI view controller subclass, make it UI view controller with XIB. Next, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine calculator view, like that. Save and enter, and there we go. Here's our calculator view. Now, just so we know it's the calculator view, I'm going to be dragging a label out here and just put in there calc view just for the sake of me knowing it's a calculator view. However, before we go on, you will notice that if we go back to our tab bar, we have a shrunk view area here because the tab bar is in the way. The tab bar takes up a bit of the screen. So if we were to try and add this view to the screen, it will be too big. It will still work, but half of our view will be missing because there's a tab bar down here. Now tab bars by default are 49 pixels. So we need to change the pixel size of this to 460, take away 49, which I believe is 411. I might have got some math wrong there or whatever. So 
First of all, we're going to need to get rid of the status bar because the tab bar already has one. So if we go here to simulated metrics in the attributes tab, go here to status bar and select none. That's it gone. Now we can go to the size tab and we can change the height to 411 so it fits nice and snugly above our tab bar. Then I'm just going to change the centering position of my calculator view label. Save. Go back to the main window. And now we have our view ready to be put into the tab bar but not in there yet. To put it in the tab bar simply select the tab, only click it once this time. Go over to the attributes here. Under nib name we're going to type out the actual nib name of our calculator view. So it was calculator view. There we go. So as you can see here, if we go back to our thing, it says loaded from calculator view. Simple as that. All we need to do now is save, build and run, and voila, we have calc view now loaded into our tab bar. The other tabs still work. We can still go back to calc view and calculator, and there we go. In the next tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to make a calculator. Um, however, that's not linked to tab bars. In the actual next tab bar tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to add a UI table view with a navigation controller to our tab bar. So that's kind of advanced and I've had a lot of questions on that. So I'm going to be teaching you how to add a tab bar to it. Uh, I mean, a, a table view. So check out that tutorial just there, UI table view in a tab bar. So that's not out when I made this video, but it will be out soon. So yeah, go check that out when it's out. Um, so yeah, there you go. That's how you change the name, add an icon and add a view to your tabs. Um, don't forget to follow me on Twitter where you can get all the latest updates about what I'm doing uh, with YouTube and all of the videos and series and stuff. Uh, at Fail Cake, Fail Cake Apps, a little annotation should appear there. Um, please just give me a like on videos because it helps out a lot. Let's me know you're watching. <laughs> and also don't forget to click on the ads in some of my videos, the adverts, because you know every little helps. doesn't take long to do, just a click and you're done. So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment, and uh, see you in the next tutorial.